So Andrew Whiteley was always old, but he was especially old this game. This was played in Capella Grand, one of the first ones. <laughs> Marker next game. Very good. Okay, I'm black in the Albin Counter Gambit. We're both IMs at this point. Used to play the Albin Counter a lot. I always played bishop e6. Bishop g4 is the old move. I think they play knight e7 now. So I had this position a lot. I had a book by Paul Lamford on the Albin that was written in the 80s. So I like memorized everything in the book and I just did what the book said. And this is this was a position in the book. Okay, and the book, the, the main line was h4, knight h6. But he played here, so now I was out of my prep. But I figured, you know, I could take a pawn, so I'll take my pawn back. Yeah, that's a little slow for an Albin counter. Not a big fan of that. Okay, so I play h4 because he didn't play h4. Now, he took with the bishop, um, but he should take with the e-pawn. That's better. <clears throat> and he played rook e1, which he has to do. So I don't really have a mating attack here. Just plays king f1. And he has the two bishops. I played knight f6. Queen d3 is the best move. Bishop b4 is the best move. And now he made the losing move. He only has one move where it says it's still about equal, and that's rook d1. Obviously, you'd want to have black here because my king is safe and his isn't. Thanks, Smurfette. You're my only donor today. Yay. Go, Smurfette. I might make 10 cents today if I play my cards right. Okay, so he played bishop d2, which loses. I took. He took. Played knight g4. Now, the idea is I want to play knight e5. Um, and right now, I'd like to play queen check and queen takes pawn mate. Okay, so he played bishop takes, which the engine really hates. Now he played queen d3, which the engine also hates. I played rook d6 to double on the h file. He played queen f3. I traded queens and won the end game. No, I'm just kidding. Queen h3, not a big threat yet. And this is a position I used to show my students. I mean, I have students again, so I can still show them. But this is one of my this is one of my positions that I would show to students who were like between a thousand and two thousand. Which is all of you guys. Was Queen H1 not mate? Yes, it was not mate. That's correct. Very good. Yeah, queen, queens go backwards. Yay, go Smurfette. If you guys want to donate too, you can. You don't have to just let Smurfette do it. Yay, Xenoid, 400 bits. C.L. Smith is banned for his terrible move. C.L. Smith, when it's a puzzle, you're always right. When it's one of my games, you're right less often. I like this move a lot. So, you know, I've shown this before, obviously, but C.L. Smith doesn't, uh, I guess, wasn't there. Queen H1 earlier. All right, let's go back. So when queen h1 was legal. Okay, queen here. Okay, queen h1 isn't mate because his bishop takes it. His bishop still takes it. Oh, oh, here. Yeah, I'm in check. Yeah, that's that's why it's not mate because it's illegal. That must have been when you thought it was mate. I get that a lot. People ask me why I don't mate people in blitz games. It's because I'm in check. That's very common. And then, okay. So there you go.
Tom Khan with the typo, making his answer look silly. Thanks, Smurfette. Right, so queen h7, then you play rook h6, and then it's over. If, if you had the queen on h5 and played rook h6, this isn't actually a threat that just trades queens. But now, rook h1 is a serious threat. Okay, he played g4, and the idea of g4 is to play queen g3, so when I play rook h1, he can play king g2. Reasonable. Now I have mate in 10, and I played the first move of the mate in 10. Thanks, Floyd in space, for the sub. What are you going to be for Halloween? I'll be a washed up GM, just like I am now. Delp is always correct. Rook h3. Now if he goes to g2, then this is pretty matey. And if he doesn't go to g2, like here, for example, then queen h3 is mate. And if he stops queen h3, uh, well, he can't, he can't go on the third rank because my rook takes his queen. So basically, it's queen here or queen here. So the engine says he should go here. That's not, that's not good. So after rook h3, he resigned. I like that Albin counter because I attacked the whole game. I had the h file, and my king never got attacked. So that was fun. Yay, chest dust. He can't pay attention to the chest because he's on that dust. Thanks, GM Smurfette. Keep giving one bit. Eventually, it'll be some amount. Go hype train. Okay, next game. <laughs> 